New details are emerging tonight about the mother of Brisbane Broncos player Payne Haas at the centre of a fiery triple fatal crash on the Gold Coast. The 46-year-old is accused of evading police before slamming into a car a kilometre up the road, leaving three members of one family dead. A family not far from home, their car crumpled, the other smouldering. We heard a couple of incredible incredibly large bangs. A catastrophic case of wrong place, wrong time. Um, it's a tragic, tragic um, incident that's occurred. Gold Coast GP Dr Christopher Fawcett, his partner Susan Zimmer and her daughter Stephanie heading home in their silver Mercedes along Benogan Road. They never made it. The silver Mercedes was pushed and then collided into a power pole. Struck by a black Mercedes, it bursting into flames. Behind the wheel, Joan Tafua, mother to Brisbane Broncos, star forward Payne Haas and Gold Coast Titans newcomer Cleese Haas. Officers say her car was driving erratically leading up to the chase. Police activated uh, lights and sirens and attempted to intercept this vehicle. However, the, uh, the driver and sole occupant of the vehicle uh, evaded police. Seconds later, coming to a crashing halt. Tafua was the only survivor, a good Samaritan pulling her from the flaming wreck. Paramedics rushing her to a Gold Coast hospital with critical injuries. It's understood she doesn't hold a licence. Where the speed and alcohol was a factor will form part of the police investigation. The 46-year-old has a violent and troubling past, charged with assaulting a delivery driver in 2018. Right, you she was recently released on parole over another violent attack on a security guard at the Star Casino earlier this year. Her high-profile sons standing by her through thick and thin in the past, posting messages of support on their social media. But this time, the silence is deafening. Let's go straight to Charlton Hart of Benogan for us tonight. Uh, Charlton, good evening to you. Now, I understand you've just spoken to a grieving family member of the victims. What was said? They're actually still here as we go to air at the moment, um, Wendy. This is Claudine Snow. She lost both of her parents, Susan and Chris, and her sister, Stephanie, in this horrible tragedy yesterday. The two granddaughters are here as well. Um, Susan and Chris were actually supposed to be driving up to visit the family for New Year's, but it said uh, they have today driven up from northern New South Wales to uh, come and see this site. Uh, they're still processing and coming to terms with it. They've actually invited us along because this is what they want the public to see. They say quite often uh, the real face of tragedies like this isn't seen and, and they, they want to put a face to their loved ones. We spoke to Claudine just a short time ago. Here's some of what she had to say. My sister was intellectually disabled but could light up a room and make the coldest of hearts laugh. She was incredible. And my mom, she was my best friend. <laughs> and I'll never be the same again. <laughs> and Chris, he was a doctor. He saved so many lives. These uh, crosses and the flowers have all been done by complete strangers. The family don't know them, Wendy, but it's made their grieving process just a little bit easier. Sheldon, that is just devastating to see the family there with you tonight. Thank you for that update.